Okay, so today's one night to live. Um, first I want to start off with that Danny Destiny dynamic, which is really funny in my opinion. Um, because one minute they're friends, the next minute they're fighting over who's going to be the lead in the play, the next minute they're trying to compete for Matthew's attention. It's just really, really funny. Um, and I loved how Destiny stood up to, to Todd, and oh my god, did she say stranger danger? Um, is she in the second grade? <laughs> that made me laugh so hard. Um, and I loved the cut between Destiny saying uh, she, she wouldn't know what she would do without her father. And then we see um, Danny looking at Todd, who's shoving hamburger into his face. It just cracked me up so much. Um... Scott Clifton, again, amazing today. Um, Skyler's really lost it. And, you know, the, the mark of a, of a good, crazy villain um, sometimes is, is a villain that you can feel sympathetic towards. And it, though it seems kind of weird how he could go from being plain old Skyler, you know, nice guy, to, um, to, to this extreme craziness, um, considering who his father is, um, and, and considering what he's been through and what he's found out about his life in a very short span of time, you know, I get it. And um, he was just great today, and I, I, I do kind of feel like he, he may kill himself, and uh, it was a good thing for Taya to put him on suicide watch. And the part where he just looked at Taya and, and said, I'm done. Oh, that, that, that really got to me. Um, I feel bad for the poor guy. And of course, what he did was awful. But again, um, and it's not excusable um, what he did. Um, but I still feel some sympathy for him. Uh, and that's also a sign of a good actor. Um, Seeing Bo shot, um, I knew it was going to happen. Um, I haven't seen Bo shot since uh, the whole um, Statesville breakout story with Christian and Carlo and, and Hayes, who's my personal favorite from Life to Live On. Um, and that was an amazing storyline. Um, so it was kind of interesting, you know, a few years later to, to sort of have that happen again. Um, uh, I, I love, I love Kish, um, they're just great, and, and seeing them with Sierra Rose was really, really sweet and cute, and I'm just, you know, I keep saying this, but I'm really, really sad that all of my, well, not all of my, but a lot of my favorite characters and actors are no longer going to be on the show, um, Kim left. And uh, that was Amanda Fenton's choice. And then we have Kish leaving, and we have Sky leaving, and it's just like it's 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 very very hard to watch when so many of the people that or so many of the characters and people that I care about are going to be gone. Um, there, I just got a uh, next week's TV guide in the mail, and. Uh, Besides there being an awesome side column on the um, Dark Shadows movie, uh, Dark Shadows, which is a soap opera in the 60s, my first soap opera I ever watched, um, there was a great article, as you can see here, on Kish. And um, I just want to read you um, something that Brett Claywell says in the article. Because um, I talk about how you know, the, the, the publicist for ABC Daytime is saying Kish didn't, um, didn't have the appeal we hoped it would, but I, I think we all know that's false, that Kish had a lot of support behind it. And so Claywell, uh, Brett Claywell, uh, briefly just says, um, the fact that they let us tell the story at all is what's important, and if I had to lose my job to get this on TV, then I'm proud of that. I'm just really sad and really sorry that there's still so much fear and ignorance in our society. Um, and so I just like to um, close with that quote. And uh, 
tell me what you guys think. Okay, bye!